Welcome back everyone, Toys is here, and I am back yet again for yet another McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse news update. Today, we have a new wave of the McFarlane Digital Figure Collection. It's an offshoot of the DC Multiverse line. For those that are wondering, to those thoroughly confused, as I can be sometimes with all the different Mishigash lines, yes, these are actual physical figures, but they come with a little trading card, and it has a little digital code on it, and you put the digital code into the app, and then you have a little online digital collection. And I am thoroughly, thoroughly interested on who of you out there do this. Do you do it all the time? Do you get all the digital figures? Do you upload them? Do you show them off to your friends? Do you go over to somebody's house and you go, hey, uh, you can't see my collection at home, but look at my app on my phone. Check it out. I'm just very curious. Let me know down below. Before we get started, as always, we will have affiliate pre-order links down in the description below. As always, thank you so much for using my links. For those of you who do not know just yet, Entertainment Earth has totally redesign their whole shipping sort of dealio. It's $8 flat rate shipped for everything up to 99 bucks. Over 99, it's free shipping. It's eight bucks shipped, no matter what you buy, until you reach 99 and then over that, it's free. So definitely check them out. But like I said, I will have Entertainment Earth, I will have Amazon, GameStop, all those links when applicable will be down there to use at your disposal. So pick your poison. To kick it off, for the two new figures today, new is in quotation marks, we're headed to the world, the Earth, Earth 2 with a Earth 2 Robin, Crisis on Infinite Earths Robin, if you want to go that route. Yellows, greens, reds is the name of the game. Huge yellow wired cape. That looks pretty solid. This costume, the Earth 2 Robin, thoroughly confused me as a kid. It's before you really kind of understand the whole convergence of the different universes, the different companies, Crisis on Infinite Earths, what that meant. When I used to see this costume, I go, what the heck is it from? What? How did this happen? Anyways, we are getting him as a figure. And not only that, which I think is pretty cool, finally, we are getting alternate head portraits so you can have alternate looks for said Earth 2 Robin. So that's not too shabby at all. Now, you get that trading card, you get that black McFarlane stand, you gotta have those, those are the staples. You get extra hands, they are the creepy hands, and you get a battering. And I swear to God, when I first saw this, I thought he had two fisted hands. No, lo and behold, he has one fisted hand, one open battering holding hand. So. That's pretty cool. And he looks to be on the Batman Nightfall body. as what it kind of looks like to me. Unless, once you have it in hand, it's something different. But that would be suitable for the character, the idea that is Earth 2 Robin. If you don't know the history of the character, it's kind of confusing. Just think of an alternate landscape. It's Bruce Wayne. He retires. Dick Grayson Robin takes over, but he changes the costume. Perhaps we will see a variant of that costume. Who knows? Not said to be any platinum, possibly on this, just as a heads up. Maybe on the other figure we're going to be talking about. Wink, wink. But overall, I'm happy with this figure. I will be pre-ordering it. I like the extra head portraits, the hands, the creepy hands don't do anything for me. I like that he comes with the battering, and I love the wired cape. He'll go with my other Crisis on Infinite Earths figures. Solid. I'm actually pretty stoked on this Robin. Here he is all boxed up, ready to go. Again, it's a real physical figure. It comes with a digital rendition you can upload in the app. And as I said, please let me know if you utilize the aspects. Now, moving on, we have the Joker. Now, a lot of you are going to say, well, this is the umpteenth Joker. Well, if I'm being honest, there's one, maybe two alternate Jokers, like when they did the three Jokers line, that are great Jokers. But this is the one, this is the Silver Age Joker, this is the Joker and the head portrait, the look, the purple suit, he's very superpowers, he's very 70s, 80s-ish Joker, that's the Joker that I know and love, and I want this. This looks really darn cool. Again, that head portrait, if that head portrait is exactly what they're touting, it's not some digital render, because it kind of looks that way in some of the photos, yay. <laughs> Let's do it. That looks pretty darn cool. The suit, 
Unfortunately, he doesn't have the black pinstripes. That would have been nice to see, especially going down the legs, down to his spats. That would have been awesome. Now, I like the orange vest. You got the green shirt. You kind of have that loose-fitting bolo tie kind of dealio that he has. He even has a little painted daisy slash daffodil, you know, his acid flower. That looks awesome. The green of the hair, the smile. I love it. One thing that I'm really stoked that they did, this is something that I've been asking for, is that more sculpted accessories within the hands themselves. I don't need a separate laughing fish. The Joker is the only one that holds the laughing fish. But would have been kind of cool if you got two to kind of mimic that old comic book cover where he's kind of holding them like guns. That would have been nice. Also, maybe putting a little red smile on the fish. Why? Why not? Now, I know it kind of varies in the comics, and then maybe I'm thinking of animated series where they do have the red smiles, but red smiles on the fish would be the way to go. I'm just saying. That would be I most ideal. It comes more across as being, oh, yeah, that's, that's the laughing fish. Now, the other hand is that he has the razor-sharp playing cards, or just the playing cards. It's the white-gloved hand. It looks to be gray playing cards, but there is absolutely no paint. Why not a little red, a little black to make the suits of the playing cards, have them be all jokers, dead man's hands, something like that, just to kind of liven it up. You really have a good joker here. Don't diminish it by just going, you it's just kind of willy nilly the paint, which is key in some areas. The alternate hands allow him to hold that Joker cane. That's really cool. And the hands, if you look at the trading card, do kind of allow him to mimic that pose. So I'm hoping that is definitely the case. Just as a heads up, if you did not get the Walmart exclusive Vampire Joker that came out some time ago now, that Joker came with the DC Multiverse equivalent of the old DC Superpowers mallet that would be great for this Joker. I have one, so when I get it, I can show you pictures and everything else. But I would say if you're more inclined to this Joker, look into getting that Vampire Joker as well so you can have that mallet. I think that that would go really well. And later down the road, which I think would be kind of cool, is this Joker, but with the wide brim fedora and then the trench coat on top of the suit. Just give him a Tommy gun. You know, that whole dealio. Let, let's see that. Let's see that eventually. That would be really cool. So, Silver Age Joker, all boxed up, ready to go. There are great aspects to it. I think the figure itself is pretty darn cool. I like the sculpted in hand accessories. They're just missing paints, and I love his cane accessory. And honestly, I would say that this is nearly a home run. You didn't make it all the way around the field just yet, but... It's almost there, kind of sort of implement some of those changes, and I think that you guys would definitely have something here. So that is going to wrap it up for my look at two brand new McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse digital figures, even though they are physical, Earth 2 Robin and the Silver Age Joker, both of which I will be pre-ordering. Of all the umpteenth Robins that I have, this is a new character, even though it's an Earth 2 Robin, Robin, yeah, he fits in other places. Kind of, sort of, might go well with that Huntress that is on its way right now. People have been getting them from various outlets, so keep an eye out for her. And then, of course, the Joker will go well with a number of different Batmans. So perhaps we'll be getting a Silver Age Batman in some sense. Wouldn't put it past him to do that. But again, I would love to see that whole wide brim fedora, Joker trench coat, that whole situation. So... You've heard my thoughts. Now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below. Let me know. Let's talk everything DC Multiverse. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most important, remember, stay tuned. I will have some new DC Multiverse vids coming very shortly, probably early next week. And when I do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.